Hey guys, it's Mary Beth with Rover's Makeover. Today I have a standard poodle puppy. He's he's still a puppy, I promise, even though he's big. Um, we are doing what is called a Miami cut or a clown cut. It looks like this. You just leave the balls on the on the feet or on the legs down here, and then just a regular. Here's what he looks like. The ears are matted, and I feel so bad for having to shave them, but you guys know I don't demat ears. Um, it can cause hematomas, which is bleeding, which is bleeding um, out of the ears, on the tips of the ears. So I'm gonna have to shave the ears. We're gonna shave down all this, and then just leave a rough, get those really clean and um, blow dried and then we'll get him finished. So out of respect for the owner, um, because it is one of my dad's clients, I am not going to shave the ears until she acknowledges the text. So I'm gonna start with the five. Just a minute, guys. How'd he get that call? <laughs> Cracks me up. Some people hear my my full groom price and they're like she just said you're the highest one yet well you get what you pay for so this is a five i think this will be a good length it's not super short it's not a seven but it's still a summer cut I'm gonna move you up here, buddy. Come up here. No, 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 no. We're not jumping off. His his coat is wonderfully maintained, um, and his ears were too last time, but this time they're pretty matted. The owner and I, we, we stood outside and talked a little bit about it and she just asked what I suggested and I said, you know, I'd, I'd recommend short. Um, this guy is a therapy dog. He is, um, I do give them a 50% discount. They, they work, this dog works with children that have an incarcerated parent. He's a therapy dog. Um, I offer 50% discounts to all real service dogs, real therapy dogs, and real military dogs. Um, and why I'm emphasizing real is because there's a lot of people out there that will say their dog is a service dog or a therapy dog, and they're really not. Guys, you can go online and you can buy a service dog vest. That doesn't make your dog a service dog. Um, service therapy dog is one that has gone through training. They're certified. They have a specific job. You know, it's not just let me throw a vest on and call it a service dog. I had one lady come in that I almost refused service to because she came in and her dog had a service dog collar on and right there to my face she said yeah it's not really a service dog i just bought the vest so he can go in places with me guys that is not right i have heard stories of you know non-service dogs with fake collars and stuff on attacking real service dogs um, and that's just that's not right 
It's also a federal offense to, in some states, to fake service dog. You're so sweet, though. You know that? I see your leg. You're okay. This dog was supposed to come in in the afternoon, but I had that dog with that wound that I had to turn away. I had to tell them to go to the vet. So I text her and I was like, hey, I've got an opening. You want to come in? You're okay. Good boy. Adding up here. Guys, please do not get a poodle or a doodle, especially standard size, you know, these big guys, unless you have fully done your research. Um, taking and maintaining care of the, these coats is a lot of work. Um, unless you're going to take your dog to the groomer every four to six weeks to maintain it, you know. There's some doodles and poodles that need to go every week to get a good bath and a good brush out if you're not gonna do it. Um, now, if you wanna take your dog to the groomer every six to eight weeks to get a shave, that's, that's fine, that's taking care of your dog. But, you know, please do your research before you get a poodle or a doodle. They are so much more work than people realize. You know, it's not just the cost of the dog. It's the cost of the food. It's the cost of, you know, grooming. You've got, on an eight-week rotation, you have six groomings a year. You know, and a dog this big at, you know, 80 90 $100, that's like $600 a year. What do you think, buddy? It, they're, they're not cheap to own. You know, then you need the maintenance equipment. You need a fine tooth comb. You need a slicker brush. You probably need some detangling spray made for dogs, of course. Don't use human products on dogs. Their skin has different pH balance. What do you smell, huh? You know, the reason I have short-haired dogs is I don't have time for a long-haired dog. I just, I don't have time for it.
I appreciate, you know, people reaching out to me. But guys, it is an invasion of privacy for you to text me. Um, if you want to comment on a video, that's fine. But, you know, emailing and texting me, guys, that's an invasion of privacy. And especially with the amount of people that watch me, um, you know, if everyone thought it was okay to send a text or email me, guys, I'd have 50,000 emails and texts. Um, that's just, it's not fair and it's intrusive. You know, we, I, we have a personal life. We've got YouTube life and then we've got personal life and I like that people, you know, like to reach out and say, hey, I'm a fan. You know, I watch your channel all the time. I love you. Whatever it may be. But just think when you do that, how many other people think is it's okay to do that. And it's just, it's not okay. It's not okay. What do you think, buddy? Do your neck. Awesome. No, 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 no. I still hasn't acknowledged my text. I just, I, I like for them to confirm that I'm going to shave before I do it, out of respect. No, no, no. Um, and guys, when you're brushing, you know, ears or whatever it may be, you have to get down to the skin. You can't just do the top layer um, because that's how mats form. Kelby, you need to turn that down, please. Turn it down, please. Turn it down. matted right in here chest area I'm gonna be fully honest with you guys I have never done this cut before um, but that book I have, I'll, I'll link it down below. Guys, the best grooming book if you're just starting. It's got all the clips. I'm gonna have to get a seven for that or a 10. It's got all the clips. Um, it's called Notes from the Grooming Table. I mean, it tells you exactly how to do everything. Everything. You know, it's got everything. Now, it's not going to tell you how to groom like a Shih Tzu because every owner is going to be different. But like Bichons and Poodles and Cotton Dead Tulier and all this other. And then it has all the pet classic pet poodle grooms and it's got all the different kinds of faces and stuff it's it's a great book it's gotta be what My well it shouldn't it's only 11 o'clock okay I'll put it on the charger
No. Because I need it for work. Do the sanitary. I'm gonna use a 10. Stand up. I know this seems ridiculous to do it this way, but guys, this is the best way to get in there and see what you, no, 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 no. See what you're doing. Okay. It's my parents' dog. She's gonna stay here until I'm done and then I'm gonna run her to my parents' house. She just got a bath and she's got a got an ear infection. See guys, if you cannot go through the ear, it's matted. Um, you know, it would take me, and the dog doesn't like it. She hasn't responded. Um, I need to trim this belly some more. Stand up. I'm gonna try, no, no, no. I'm gonna try five. I wanna keep these as long as possible. But see, this is all matting in here. No, 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 buddy. You're okay. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna have to go one shorter. Guys, please do not demat ears. If they are matted, please shave them. Um, it's the most humane thing to do.
Okay, honey. Yeah, the dog's gonna may look a little funny, but okay. I'm gonna save that because she hasn't responded. So I'm just gonna save that. No. Buddy, you can't be doing that. I'm gonna cut your ear. Buddy, no, Corky, no. Right here. Did you see that person walking out there? Oh. Easy, 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 easy boy. Easy boy. Hey, hey, hey. No, sit. Can you sit? Sit. Stay. No. No pawing. No, I know, buddy, and then we're almost done and we'll go get to the bath. I th he's telling me that he doesn't like it. That's, that's why he's doing this. I so badly want a big dog. Ouch, buddy, that hurts. No, no. You sit. Switch blades and see if that does it. Good boy. You never ever want to go this way because you will cut the ear. Um, you need to watch these flaps in here too. Buddy, you can't lay down. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and just loosely, if it'll let me, trim these.
watching TV. The daughter's watching Barbie. Barbie, Barbie. All right, guys. I'm gonna brush the, this out real quick. I have fit him in, I have another dog coming in in a couple minutes. So I'm just wanting to get him bathed. I'm gonna take, come here buddy. You can't be pulling boy. Come on, come on. No, come on buddy, come on. Buddy, come on. No, 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 no. Ooh. You were hefty. Oh, man. I had to buy some new ear powder. This is the ear powder that I'm used to. Oh yeah, so much better than that other. You're okay, buddy. Buddy, you're okay. Again, for those of you that may be new, or this is just like one video you're watching, you have to get this ear hair out. You can't cut it out. Um, because it causes earwax and can cause dirt and stuff to be built up, then you get ear infections. Um, but this powder just helps me grip the hair. And no, I can't do this with gloves on. Gloves inhibit my ability to feel the hair that I can't see. And you have to get this hair out. And it um, grows in the ears of dogs that have continuous growing coats. Shih Tzus, lots of os lot, lots of Opsos, Yorkies, Poodles, you know, all those kinds of dogs. Okay, now I'm going to turn him. No, we're not getting, getting out. I am going to do this side now. Um, guys, don't skimp on your ear powder. 
in fact, don't skimp on anything. If you need to use a lot of something on a dog, then do it. They pay us good money to fully take care of their dog. You know, you should be using premium shampoo, dog products, don't use people products on dogs. You know, I go as far as, you know, if a dog ha looks like they have a yeast infection, I'll go ahead and put some antifungal in their ears. Um, I just use, like, the generic Lotrimin. It's called Clotrimazole, or you can use, um, it starts with an M. But I order it four, five, six um, tubes at a time. I mean, I always tell them, hey, your dog has an ear infection, but you put that in there and it just jump starts the, this guy looks like he has some, has some yeast in there. It smells like it anyway. Sometimes I have to put my hand over here so I can push my fingers deep enough down in there because their ears are so deep. But it's a pretty clean air ear. We're gonna I'm gonna turn him back around. This way, buddy. This way, buddy. I'm gonna clip him over here because of all this hair. I don't want him bending over. He'll get everything all wet. But you can stand up. You just gotta be over there. I get asked a lot. This is the shampoo that I use. Um, you can tell that I like it. I have eight gallons of it. I've tried this. It's supposed to be the most concentrated on the market. I don't like it. Um, it's not. I have to use more or about the same amount as this and this costs twice as much. This is just Griminator from Double K, Groomer's Edge. Um, it smells great. It's good for dirty dogs. It's good for smelly dogs. Overall, I've been using this for years and it has always been my number one pick. Um, not sponsored by them or anything. I bought all this by myself. I love it. Um, that's what's in here. You're okay, buddy. You're okay, buddy. I'm gonna start by wetting these just so that soap can get in there and start cleaning all that dirt. Usually I would have this in the bottom of the tub, but I have a smaller dog that's coming in after this. So what I'm gonna do is get this side clean first. And then I will move, turn him and go to the other side. No, buddy, you gotta stand up.
Remember guys, the cleaner the dog, the better the final groom will be. Um, and the coat has a certain feel when it's clean. Okay, I'm gonna turn him. Turn, turn, turn. Come on, boy. There it is. to be fixed. Also, when they're down, when they have, they have to have their head down a little bit, um, they can't shake. I have figured that out. Um, and because that's a lot of water that can be held in that top knot. Stand up. Stand up. Ugh. You're okay, buddy. We really want to get these top knot clean. Get the ears clean. Um, I, I get asked, you know, what about the powder that's left in there? Guys, that's fine. It's fine. Um, it's not that much. It will help absorb any moisture that gets in there. Just gonna rinse him. Make sure to get all the soap off. It will cause skin irritation if you don't. Okay. And on his top knot and his pom-poms or whatever you want to call them. I'm going to use some conditioner. Full strength. it out it just makes it more manageable are you here for an appointment or need an appointment okay just a second They're not supposed to be coming in the door. It says no entry. Can you stand up? Up, 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 up. So I'm gonna dry him off and then get him in the cage dryer. Guys, back with this boy. I already went ahead and just lined up these um i just want to
make sure they look good when you step back they all look even and they do um number seven instead of a five i think it'll just look better You're okay, Holly. Already did her. Already did Holly. Yeah, she's that that boy's next. Yep, his name is Copper. Like off Fox and the Hound. Then we can go home. Yep, then we'll take Holly to Papa's house. You're okay, Holly. You have a thick tail.
the lady messaged me a couple minutes ago and just said okay. Agreeing that it was okay that his ears were going to have to be shaved. Kelby, huh? Do you hear her? She's singing. She's singing happy birthday. No, no. Easy. Whose birthday is it, Kelby? Chelsea's? On Barbie? Yeah, on Barbie? Yeah. Oh, just, you're pretending that she's here? Okay. Sometimes it's really hard to get in this neck chest area because they have, you know, right here, these, these dents. Um, just pull it to a place that's flat and then do it. Up, 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 up.
Can you stand up? No, no, no. Oh, there we go. There you go. Okay. Down. Down. There you go. Good boy. What? Yeah. I just put up in the skin tops. What? I put up in your skin tops. I see that. <sighs> nope, that's it. No, that's it. I don't have snack. We're leaving as soon as I get done. Oh. Huh? Yeah, I already bathed her. I'm gonna do a number 10 reverse. <laughs> Not reverse. Not on this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No. Good boy. No, no, no. Come on, boy. You can use shorter blades such as a 15. Um, I know in show poodles, I think they even use like a 40 blade, which is a surgical blade. But on puppies, I only use a 10 um, because they tend to have more sensitive skin. Come here, buddy. No, no, no.
Good boy. Yeah, just a minute, okay? Kelby, I'm busy, baby. You're just creating a V, you put the heads, the dog's head down, and that's where you get the shape of the V. No, no. Sit. Sit. Good boy. No, no, no. You're okay. All right, guys, I'm going to do the head real quick. Get my comb. Um, 
marketing crowd. Look at your whole family with your touching scenes and your house and your pool and your wedding. What do you think so great, you know? That is a top knot, guys. <laughs> okay, so first things first, you want to brush it all out. Okay, now I'm going to take some of this show sheen. Okay, I usually don't do this, but this top knot is so long that it's not going to cut it. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to Just going to brush all this forward. This hair is so thick. Just want to round it. Okay, then we're going to. over to the side it's really easy with shaved ears you just flip this ear back Kelby uh-uh turn it down Kelby, turn it down. So you want this to go from the eye over and it, we didn't cut it down enough.
Okay, just like that. And then you want to take this and comb this over. Buddy, you can't be doing that. Okay. So just clean. Clean that gear up a little better. Okay, now we're gonna brush it back. Excuse you, buddy. Brush it back. And we're just gonna do the same thing and just I've been down by. I know, buddy, you just keep hearing all the noises. Okay, then we're gonna brush it up. Brush it up. And trim it. Mommy, yeah, just a minute, okay? Okay, then you just want to brush it forward a little bit. You just want to keep brushing and fluffing until it looks even all over. No, no, no. I need to work on this back a little bit. I am, I'm the worst at the back. Um, need to put him down a little more so I can see. I gotta get this guy's. Right, guys, get back to him.
Hey, buddy. Okay, so now we're just gonna brush it for just a little bit, just to see if we need to. Yep, see how it's lower and then it's real high right here? We're just gonna trim, trim that. This guy has great, great hair. Um, it's super thick. It just makes a really good top knot. Going to clean up this ear a little bit more too. That's part of the issue I'm having. Shake. You can shake. told you guys I can't do unedited because I got to answer phone calls and stuff. So what I do is I take their tail, I find the end of the tail is right here, and I usually leave about an inch. So then I twist the hair. The end of the tail's here. And just cut hair so thick 
Just cut all that off. Okay, and then I hold the tail up and I brush it down. Because that's how it's gonna be when he's walking is the tail's gonna be up. So then I just come around and you want to trim it into a little ball. Okay, brush it down again. Okay, and then so that when they have their tail up, just check the tail, make sure there's no super long wacky looking pieces it it looks good okay i left these for the last thing because i've never done this before so i'm going to get i don't want that big one a medium size slicker brush first things first I'm just going to brush this out really well okay now guys it's not gonna be you know super fluffy like you see in pictures one the hair is not that long two he was dried in the cage dryer and not hand dried. So first things first, I've never done this before guys, so I'm just going to brush all this up and then I'm just going to trim. If you're a groomer and you do these a lot, you let me know what I need to change. So then I'm just gonna brush this bottom part down and just I know it's supposed to look rounded at the top. <gasps> Buddy, you cannot be doing that when I'm hand scissoring. Just made me take a chunk out. I think it's kind of like a top knot where you gotta blend it. I don't know guys, that looks good to me. I'm not an expert on this. You can hate me for not knowing how to do this, but I was never taught. Like if you're never taught, you have to self teach, self learn. And you, I'm not gonna learn unless I do it.
Yeah, I'm gonna get my thinning shears. I've told you guys, I don't do fancy show grooming, was never taught any of that. So, and I told her, I said, I don't, I don't do show grooms very often, you know, show patterns very often. And she said, okay. All right, buddy, you gotta rotate, rotate. No, rotate. There you go. My other dog that's in the dryer's been here two hours. I need to get this dog done. I know they're gonna be calling pretty soon. See if she's done. I haven't even started on her yet. Takes me about 30 minutes to groom her, so. And I know there's some people out there that because the dog was getting a 50% discount, they would like try and, I don't know, they wouldn't do as good as they normally do. And that's not right. I knew she needed one because she was not acting the best. That's, that's about as good as it's gonna get, guys. I know there's some out there that are gonna be like, that's not how you do it. Well, then you upload a video and you show me how to do it and I'll, I'll do it. Cause it's supposed to look like this, rounded. But, Shape pom poms with rounded shears after the cuff line has been set. Oh. 
I think she'll be happy with it. If not, we'll do something else next time. He's with kids, so let's do the donuts. I think the kids will like that. I can get started on copper. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.